From COVID-19 to the Black Lives Matter protest, 2020 has been a historic year. This election season has proven to be a heated one, with Donald Trump and Joe Biden desperately trying to gain votes. For decades, black women have been the main force behind social and political change in the U.S. However, they still face struggles when trying to run for office and are often ignored. Over the years, I've actually seen more of a craving to have black women leading. Um, I think that a lot of people now have recognized that and we're in the midst of seeing the change happen where more black women are in higher places, holding higher offices and leading much more. Historically, studies have shown that Black women vote and are more involved in politics than Black men. In a Peer Research Center survey, 64% of Black women voted in the 2016 election compared to 54% of Black men. At the same time, Black women face harsher criticism than women in office compared to their Black counterparts. Have some tough skin. <laughs> you have to, you cannot run for any position as a black woman being soft. And I'm going to be honest with that because you're going to endure pain, you're going to endure racism, you're going to do endure adversity, you're going to have lots of crying nights, you're going to have swollen feet from walking so much, you're going to be tired of answering the phone, you're going to have your good days where people support you, you're going to have your bad days where people diligently hate you only because either your race or the office that you're running for. Black people are often used as props by many politicians. Their problems often go unanswered for the sake of pandering to other voters. Black women have shown to be the strong force behind getting people to care about social issues. Malcolm X once said, the most disrespected person in America is the black woman. The most unprotected person in America is the black woman. The most neglected person in America is the black woman. The establishments that we currently have want to dictate to us what we should run for and where we should be at. It's kind of, you know, someone had said that during my, my race, um, you know, it's cute to have us in the room uh, and invite us to the table. But when you get there, you're given, a, you know, a limited menu. The political climate is changing and more diverse candidates are being voted into office. In 1965, there was no black senators or governors and only six house members. Now there is 52 black house members, but only three senators and no governors. The 2020 elections may break barriers for black women in politics, but they still have a long way to go.